What's going on, YouTube? Got another Thursday Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden update going on right here. Right here! Um, yeah, everything's growing on, looking very nice. Ooh, failure right off the bat. Haha, <laughs> one of my super hots. Whoop, is not making it. That was my sugar rush. Sorry, sugar rush. I wasn't there for you. But uh, the soil has kind of dried out a little bit, and it's still not coming back. Ugh, look at that thing. All right, enough failure. Um, we're going to start with the deep water culture bed this week, and I hope I'm not in fan. Um, why am I starting here? Because freaking hydro tube is so gigantic and bushy over there that I no longer have a walkway to walk through here. And the mint is trying to pick up the excess here. Dad on mint. Anyway, let's start with the mint. Hey, mint. Look at that stuff. Very, very nice. Um, what the heck's going on over here? Going to flower, I guess? Something like that? Um, it should be. I mean, look how big it is. I probably just need to rip this. Holy heck. Yeah, okay. No, I totally need to rip this out. What the heck is going on here? Holy cow, look at this growth. Okay, I knew there was a bunch of growth going on, but this is absolutely ridiculous. That is from one plant right there. Oh, man, I'm scared to even pull the roots. Oh, it's caught. All right, mint's going. Um, it's going to mess with my dinosaur kill here. Um, this guy, beautiful little specimen here. The shining, uh, yeah, the shining one of the all of the gardens here in the greenhouse. But my beautiful little dinosaur kale got some yellowing of the leaves back here. But that leaf should be gone anyway. That way it looks pretty. Hey, look at that. Man, that thing is so green. Um, <laughs> that's how you do it, people. Um, only you should ed edit that out because otherwise people know. Um, hey, look at that. More yellowing back here. Look. Oh, that one's gone too. Um, my Brussels. Almost called it cauliflower. Actually, I almost called it broccoli. Um, my Brussels here, looking very nice. Uh, we've got some goofy leaves, there we go, and it's kind of curling a little bit. Uh, but the whole plant kind of is curling. Uh, there's another one right over here. But overall, looking absolutely gorgeous. And, you know, obviously, it's in the deep water culture bed here. Uh, my other one, here we go, we've got some more funky looking leaves there, but they're, uh, on the bottom. They are the oldest leaves, so maybe I just need to pull them off and uh, then show off how beautiful my plants are. But it's there. Um, lettuce, going to seed, going to seed, going to seed, going to seed, and going to seed. Oh, and going to seed over there. And this little guy decided to join the party too. Um, more mint, there's another one over there. There's one right there, and there's one right there that I just pulled, and that makes up this whole mess right here. Um, very big. Um, the rest of the mint is right here, and you know, I'm going to just pick this stuff up. Look at the size of this thing. This is my movable mint, because it has no cup, and I keep pulling... Ah, the roots are caught. Daggone it, I missed my window again. Alright, I'm probably just going to go ahead and chop the roots right there. I know that's bad, but this is mint. It survives anything. Uh, hey, look what didn't survive anything. Got a strawberry down there. Looks horrible. None of my other strawberries um, from my discount, 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 discount strawberries at uh, Wally World. None of those guys came up. Surprise! My water level is starting to go down a little bit. As you can see, algae is starting to take over. It's that time of the year. Um, I guess I, I guess I missed my algae bloom uh, this year. Normally, I'm right on top of it, uh, but this year, like, all of a sudden, it was clear, it was clear, and then I was just wondering, when did the algae bloom happen? Because now it's really bad. But uh, catfish are in there, they don't want to show themselves off. Um, I haven't been trying to get video of them, but ever since I said I was going to, uh, they do not want to come out. But I'm going to blame the heat, because it's been very hot. It was 94 earlier, and that was at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so... Oh, great. I gotta make this short because if you can see right there, you can see trees because the roof is actually ripping a little bit. I need to fix that with some real duct tape like I did over here. That was in the middle of a windstorm. If you missed that on Twitter, I was talking about that. That was the rip right there. 
and I had to do that in the middle of a windstorm uh, with, uh, you know, that big of a rip, and the thing was just flapping all over the place. Great. I should have filmed that, and uh, then it would have been more funny, but I didn't. Uh, ooh, I didn't even notice this, but look at that. This guy's bent, and uh, it's down here. It's flowering, so maybe it's going to continue. Oh, ooh, maybe not after that sound. Um, the other guy, same thing. The other one's just kind of leaning over here. Um, this guy right here is bent. That guy is leaning over, but they're all flowering. Same thing. Don't even need to show it. Uh, look horrible at the base, but they're doing good. Ah, heck with it. While we're right here, Brussels. Got a few flowers that are flowers. Uh, leaves that are showing the same. I did add iron. I finally added iron yesterday. So obviously it's not going to show up today. And well, actually it never shows up. The new growth just doesn't look like it's iron deficient. Um, in my experience, that is. Um, oh, yep, might as well talk about these guys flowering right over top of the fish tank. Probably not a smart idea, but uh, that's where they decided to go. And hey, man, I like to let things just do their own thing, and that's what they decided, so I'm letting them live with that decision. Um, <laughs> what else do we uh, More Brussels, tons of Brussels all in here. They're got kind of uh, getting shadowed out by the lettuce here, so I guess I'm going to have to take action. I'll move them and maybe flip them over this way somewhat or something. I don't know. We'll figure that out after the video. That'll be a mystery until next week. Um, here we go, my strawberry. One of the only ones that are doing good in the greenhouse. Ah, oh, did you see that? Did anybody see that? I'm gonna flip them. No. There are white flies flying around. Oop, there's one right there. Um, okay, yeah, we're looking right at that leaf. About, there we go, dead center of the camera now. That little white dot is a white fly. And... There it flew. But, haha, <laughs> smash that subscribe button because uh, you're going to want to come back and see how I'm dealing with those guys. It's going to be fun. Um, but like I said, this is my best strawberry here. And it's not really looking all that great. i got to be honest. we got some uh, rust on the tips there. A white fly landing on my screen. Grr. Um... We've got this hmm, funky looking strawberry here, but it's a strawberry. I'm happy. Um, ew, the crown kind of does not look very good. All right, let's move on. Oh, look at that, a dinosaur kale. Holy cow. Um, yeah, here's my dinosaur kale, my broken one. It was down here where it was broken. And we've got spider webs on there and some kind of bug that just went into a spider web. <laughs> I love spiders. Uh, at least in my garden. Uh, actually, I don't care about them uh, outside of the garden, really. Um, but this guy, ah, look at that, there's a stick in the way. This guy is kind of leaning on this stick right here, but it's starting to really, really take off. Look at that. Very, very nice growth. A uh, little yellowing and stuff, but uh, oh, look at that. I let it go, and it just kind of stood up on its own. Now that's weird. Okay, why weren't you doing that in the first place? Um, what else do we have? Ooh, yes, I forgot. I don't even remember what kind of pepper it was, but I threw seeds all throughout in here. Um, I know I'm way late to the game, but uh, I've already got my peppers going over there. Oh, yeah, look at those beauties. Um, so these are just uh, a what the heck, go ahead and try it kind of thing. Uh, if you saw my hot tub, well, here's a broccoli. Hey, how about that? Here's an onion. Look at this thing. Gigantic, looking very nice. I have not harvested anything off of this because I really haven't been cooking lately. Kind of bugs me to not do that. And look, this is what happens. You just get these old dried up uh, parts instead of, uh, you know, getting nutrition. But anyway, that's what happened. Uh, I'm not gonna lie about it. Um, yeah, here's some more broccoli right over here. If you were watching my hot tub aquaponic garden on Tuesday, the update, um, I was talking about suckers, because back there on the hydro tube, I've been hacking away at the, uh, tomatoes. Here we go right here. I believe that's a marglobe right there. Through that sucker right over here, dangerously close to this, uh, broccoli. On purpose, 
that's what I do, people. Um, more broccoli right over here. As you can see, we're getting some pest damage as we get over here by this kale. Ah, oh, it breaks my heart, but we're going to show it anyway. Here is my, what the heck, what did we decide on this? Third year broccoli, I guess. This thing is so freaking old. Look at all these seeds. So, look at that. Actually, a bunch of these should be cut right off because they are pretty much dried out. These guys, not so much. But these ones over here are. So, looks like I'm getting a ton of broccoli seeds. So, I may be having a giveaway coming up here very shortly. Um, I may or may not. We'll find out. You'll have to hit that. Hey, look at that. Look, self-promotion. You'll have to hit that uh, subscribe button to find out. Um... You really don't. You kind of, you know, creep on my channel and maybe I'll have a seed giveaway uh, video. And then you just jump in on it. But, hey, whatever. Subscribe. Yeah. Here, alright, enough rambling. Here are some more suckers. An indigo rose. I don't know why, but I cut my pepper, or my tomatoes, the same way every time. The very last leaf I always cut off. Wait. That is the very last leaf. I didn't cut that off. What the heck is going on? That is weird. Anyway, look at this. Marglobe. The very last leaf I always cut off. Why didn't I cut that one off? That's so weird. Here's another one right there. I like This is like an OCD kind of thing that I do. That's why I'm mentioning it. Look, that one's not cut off. What is going on, man? I am slipping in my old age. Um... Ooh, look at this little guy. What the heck is going on? That one has some too. All right, I am really losing it. So anyway, I gotta trim some of these guys up a little bit. I don't know why. Here we go. Here's a good example. I always trim the end off of the tomatoes. I at this point, I just think it's like a good luck thing. Um, as you can see, I actually do do this every once in a while. Oh look, that one wasn't. Jeez, oh man, I am not good at. Uh, doing what I say. Hmm, that's very weird. Anyway, while I was saying that, some more white flies were flying around. Ugh. Alright. Anyway, yeah. And look, we've got all kind of pest damage down here, but these are those stupid little caterpillars. I don't see any, don't see any, don't see any. Ah, I see white flies flying everywhere. Alright. The next, uh, I don't know. I don't want to call it pest-free video, but uh, my next video, uh, well, no, my next video will be the uh, hydro tube over here, actually, on Friday. But maybe Saturday or Sunday, we're going to go ahead and have a pest video popping up. Um, I've got friends coming. Uh, over here, you can see I've been having some pest damage. Oh, there is one. There's a caterpillar right there, so I'm going to have to attack this one. Nothing there. One right there. What the heck is going on? My gigantic kale. As you can see, this whole side of the plant is now missing. I went in and just started ripping things off. Why? Because these stupid little caterpillars. Look, there's one right there. They are just eating the heck out of my kale here. So I'm uh, taking very drastic measures as a uh, F what, F-14, F-16 fighter jet flies overhead? Um, yay! They love to, uh, interrupt my videos. My, what the heck is going on with my finger? I got all kind of crap on it. My dinosaur kale here, like I was showing, got some holes in here, but looking beautiful. Look at all that growth. My green, and that one's looking very nice. Little garbagey looking leaves, but still, look how bumpy they are. That is so cool. That's one of my favorite things about these guys. And white flies are flying off of there. Oh, wait until this pest war starts. Actually, it's already on. So, well, you know, that's going to be the title of the video. And uh, you already clicked on it. So, we already got a pest war going. Look at this little guy right in here. Another freaking caterpillar. I think the catfish like them, but they sink to the bottom when I throw in. Uh, throw them in the fish tank. So, I don't really care either way. As long as they're dying. Look at this guy right over here. Apparently, this is a jalapeno, not a bell. I thought it was a green bell. But apparently, according to that little pod, it is a green bell. Look at that little thing. That was from last year. It has been planted in here for, I'm betting, you can go back and look if you want, 
Uh, I'm betting that guy's been in here for like a year and two weeks or a year and four weeks, something like that. I bet I bought him in May. So, yeah, it's finally doing something. Holy cow. More importantly to me, look at these leaves. It's actually starting to come into its own in the aquaponic garden. So I finally have a pepper that's doing something. Ugh, white flies everywhere. I finally have a uh, aquaponic pepper going on. Ah, oh, jeez, oh man, let's see if I can get them to fly again. Ah, uh, I don't know if you saw that, but there, yep, there's a whole pile of them. Look, there they are. Ah, oh, they're swarming around me. I'm so disappointed. But wait until help gets here. It's coming, I swear. We're just waiting, man. Uh, this was not an Amazon. Oh man, they're everywhere on my viewfinder and everything. Um, and look, that's probably more caterpillars down there. So I'm gonna have to rip apart this plant a little bit more. Ah, uh, more right here. Oh, this is so devastating. But down here, cabbage, it's starting to get eaten up. Same as my other cabbage over there. Another one has some lettuce flowering falling onto it, but it looks okay. Um, oh yeah. Oh, there's so many white flies in here. Stay on the kale. Don't touch my peppers, plant. Uh, little bugs. Um, over here, got all kind of pest damage. Look at this stuff. Little caterpillar dealies. And they've been taking out some of my cabbage. And it's the new growth. Stick to the old growth, man. Come on, I've never had a cabbage. Um, this guy, same thing. Starting to go nuts. My tomatoes are actually starting to lean on.